It is now crystal clear that Democrats are the party of massive, coordinated voter fraud, well, vote fraud, uh, ballot stuffing. They are stealing the election in Florida. They've already stolen over 10 elections in California. And they've done it through the use of provisional ballots. Now, in case you don't know, provisional ballots are ballots cast by people whose eligibility to vote cannot be confirmed at the time they voted. And this can be illegal aliens. This can be people who don't live in the area, people who are, who are not registered in the area. So these are set aside as provisional ballots. Now, as soon as the election is officially over, the Democrats start pushing to count the provisional ballots, including the votes of illegal aliens. And this Democrat mantra you've heard is, quote, count every vote. You hear Gillum in Florida and all across the country, Democrats saying, we must count every vote. Well, really, including the illegal votes? Yes, that's what they mean. When they say count every vote, they mean count all the votes that aren't legal votes. Count the votes of dead people. Count the votes of illegal aliens. Count the votes of criminal felons who aren't eligible to vote. Count the votes of people who voted more than once or in more than one county. This is what Democrats mean, and this is how they commit their fraud. And so in Florida, what they were doing was finding ballots where either the Senate seat or the, the governor's seat was not selected by the voter because some people skip those and leave them blank, and then they would fill them in for the Democrat. And so over a period of days, tens of thousands of votes for the Democrat candidates would magically appear. And they've been finding boxes of, quote, provisional ballots all over the place. Oh, here's some in a rental car. Oh, here's some in a cargo van. Here's some in a grade school. There's just a box in the corner of a grade school. Amazing. And all these ballots happen to be ballots for Democrats. Now, the Democrats are the party, they're the party of fraud. This is now apparent to all Americans who are paying attention. The upshot of this is that the American people no longer trust Democrats to be operating with a sense of goodwill. They, they are not operating with a sense of fairness. Elections are no longer a mechanism by which the American people can expect to have their votes count. It's all being stolen by the Democrats. You could even say there's a kind of elections deep state. It's not really that deep. It's just a bunch of Democrats who are working the elections. And it's almost always Democrats who have control over the ballots because the cities tend to run more Democrat. And it's the cities and the capital city in particular where Democrats run things, and that's where the ballots all go. So the Democrats really have control over local elections all across the country, and they are now committing massive fraud, massive felony crimes. They're doing it on purpose. And so far, there doesn't seem to be any repercussions for these crimes. The Democrats are getting away with it. And so I ask you, you've heard me say multiple times that Elections are a replacement for violent wars and coups and overthrows. Well, if elections don't work anymore because the Democrats refuse to participate in a fair way, then what's the alternative? Well, the alternative obviously reverts back to wars and coups and political, you know, military overthrow. That's where this is headed, i.e. a civil war. So Democrats have refused... In other words, it's, as I've said, they, they're incompatible with civil society. Democrats are dishonest. They're deceptive people. They're cheaters. They're liars, fraudsters, con artists. They refuse to play by the rules at every level. They, they lie to their voters when they're running for office, and then they lie and cheat and steal votes to put them into office. They have hijacked the will of the American people. The American people can now know with confidence that their votes really don't count anymore because the votes of American citizens are being overrun or nullified by the votes of illegals. And now you understand the open borders policy of the Democrats. They want to get as many illegals to rush into the country as possible so they can register those people to vote, which they do all over California and Arizona and Texas. And then they can have those people vote even if they're not citizens, those votes go to provisional ballots 
in most cases, some, some cases they're just accepted. And then when, when the vote is close, the Democrats take to the media and say, we must count every vote. And again, what they mean is count the votes of the illegals who are not citizens, who have no legal right to vote. And then sure enough, as Brenda Snipes has done in Florida, those illegal votes get mixed in with the legal votes. She just mixed them all in together on purpose because she knew that Gillum would be out there saying, we must count every vote. And if you count every vote, the Democrats gonna win because there are so many illegals voting. That is their game plan. That's why they oppose the border wall. That's why they oppose ICE. That's why they oppose anybody who believes in America. They want America to be overrun by left-wing socialists. They want America to be destroyed. They want your vote to be nullified. They don't want democracy. They don't want a republic. They want an authoritarian tyranny, a society run by corrupt Democrats, i.e. Hillary Clinton. Oh, by the way, she announced she's running again in 2020. Well, guess what? She's not running to win the election. You know why she's running? She's running because she knows that indictments are coming against her. Whitaker, who's now the acting attorney general, may be the one or it might be somebody else, but there are indictments coming for Hillary Clinton because she is a criminal, an unindicted criminal. She's running for office so as a defensive mechanism so that she can say when the indictments come down, she can say, oh, they're trying to interfere with the election. That's why she's running. She knows she can't win, but she's going to go through the motions. She's going to aim for the nomination of the Democrat Party, which she can probably win. Even knowing that she will lose against Trump again in 2020, she is willing to sacrifice the election and to ruin the Democrat Party in order to keep herself out of prison by being able to say that she cannot be prosecuted because she's running for president. You see? You see how evil and vindictive that woman is? She is the most sinister, mafioso-style bureaucrat that we have probably ever seen in American history. She will destroy the Democrat Party if it keeps her out of jail. And if she runs against Trump in 2020, she will lose. But she's going to do it which is actually a gift to the Republicans. It's a gift to Trump. Trump beat her once and he'll beat her again. No question about it. Unless the Democrats can carry out sufficient vote fraud, which is what they're now practicing doing in Florida and California and other places. So we may have a real battle on our hands. What needs to happen over the next two years is that the Trump administration needs to issue indictments and arrests of deep state criminals, including Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, James Comey, Peter Strzok, and many others, John Brennan, they need to be arrested and indicted. Because if they are not, the deep state will still be in power when the 2020 election comes along, and they will do everything in their power to steal the election for the Democrats, because Democrats are now the party of fraud, the party of vote fraud, the party of election theft. This is why reasonable people are fleeing the Democrat Party everywhere across the country. To be a Democrat now is to be someone who hates America. It's to be someone who is a racist bigot who hates white people and hates Christians. And to be someone who promotes fraud, cheating. That's what Democrat has come to mean now. Democrats are synonymous with fraud. So just say no to the Democrat Party and help defend America against this epic onslaught of vote fraud. Read my website, newstarget.com. Watch my videos at brighteon.com. That's brighteon.com. And uh, you can also, of course, catch my CounterThink show, which is a once-a-week show. It airs on InfoWars. I contribute to that network with a a one-hour-a-week commentary, and you can see those shows at counterthink.com. Thanks for listening. Learn more at healthrangerreport.com. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab-verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. 
It's at healthrangerstore.com.